All right, if you've ever been interested in the world of storytelling, the Salute Self Advocates are taking over the Toledo Museum of Art for a collaborative performance with the University of Toledo's Disability Studies program. And here to walk us through that is Dr. Becca Montaloni. Is that you? Know? Montaleone. 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 Okay, all right, that's Love Sierra, it. right? Is that Sierra? Le okay. All right, so first and foremost, <laughs> what, uh, storytelling, uh, we, we do that a little bit here. We're a little familiar, yeah, sure. But what is, is this aspect of storytelling? Absolutely, so the Salute Storytellers, Salute stands for Self Advocates of Lucas County Toledo, okay. who are the self advocates with developmental disabilities mm. who are being served by the Lucas County Board of Developmental Disabilities, who are one of our partners for this program. Um, and so what this program is, is a group of self advocates has been meeting with me for the last few months to develop stories you know like short monologues that are based on memories and the theme for our performance this weekend at the Toledo Museum of Art is disability pride and so these are all stories about being proud of who you are about celebrating our differences about learning how to love yourself and so uh, this weekend we'll be performing at the Toledo Museum of Art in the Glass Pavilion at 3 p.m. on Saturday um, we will have about 10 storytellers and we will also have a performance from iDance, who are the Adaptive Performing Arts Center here. Um, and we will also have art pieces from about, um, we'll have about 50 pieces of art from people with developmental disabilities around Lucas County who are also served by the, the Board of Developmental Disabilities. I can tell you're very passionate about this when you're talking about it. You're very excited about it. Why do you like storytelling? What does it mean to you? Well, I mean, specifically, I think storytelling for people with developmental disabilities, there are a lot of stereotypes and misconceptions yeah. that exist about what it means to live with a disability. And one of the biggest misconceptions about people with developmental disabilities is that they can't speak up for themselves. And so I think storytelling is a, a you know, literally, you're, you're proving that wrong. And then of course, when we're telling stories about disability pride, you know, I also hope through this event, people will leave with a different understanding of what it means to have a developmental disability and to live with a developmental disability. How, what, was the, what was the beginning of this idea? How did this all start? Well, so I have been teaching uh, storytelling workshops for about you know, five years now with, with people with disabilities. And then for the last two years, we've had this partnership with the Lucas County Board of Developmental Disabilities. Uh, and so it really just came from trying to move forward and thinking about more creative ways to do self-advocacy, right? Because you can stand up and give a speech mm -hmm. at, at an event and, and that's meaningful, right? But there are other ways to kind of engage audiences and doing something that's a little bit more, you know, this is dramatic storytelling, a little bit more engaging, a little bit more performance based is a way to draw in new audiences um, and to reach more people. What has been the reaction to those who are participating, who are performing for this this weekend? Well, I can tell you that this is the third event that the Salute Storytellers have run, and there have been people who have been in every single yeah. one of them, right? So the thing that you find is that, you know, we had a rehearsal last night, and one of the storytellers asked me, when is the next time that we're doing this, right? Mm -hmm. So there is really kind of a feeling of empowerment that comes from telling the story about yourself that you want to tell that is meaningful for you to tell to an audience in your community. This is really uh, legitimately uh, uh, in their own words, in their words from start to finish and w their experiences uh, uh, from the people who, who have lived it, correct? Exactly, exactly. So our process is typically we do some exercises, which I understand I'm going to show you one of our exercises oh. in our workshop. Oh, cool. Um, and then we start to just record people sharing their memories, and those recordings become the basis for the script that becomes their story. So it is exactly in people's own words, sharing the stories that they want to share about their lives. And one more time, when, when is this? So this is Saturday at 3 p.m. in the Glass Pavilion at the Toledo Museum of Art. It is free, open to the public. Free. We will have a reception afterward with some treats so that you can peruse the art and talk to the storytellers, and everyone is welcome. Fantastic. Okay, so, so you're going to have to show us off time because uh, they're telling us we have to wrap up. You have to show us during the break, and then we'll show the people, hopefully. I love it. <laughs> uh, sure. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah thank it. you so much for having me.